option. Your entire strategy is based on what you think. I'm going to give you the fixed protocol. Options Greeks. I'm going to give you the fixed protocol. 35 equals D. 55 equals IBM. 40 equals 2. 44 equals 22.5. 59 equals 0. 50 equals Carlisle. 49 equals my firm. Tag equals value. The fixed protocol is just an electronic language used to communicate orders between different parties on Wall Street. It's as simple as that. The fixed protocol, created in 1992 by firms on Wall Street as a means of real-time communication of orders electronically from one party to the next. Upstairs to downstairs, buy side to sell side, broker to broker. I am a fixed god. So the fixed protocol is all about grammar and syntax. You have lots of tags and you have lots of appropriate values for each tag and you have construction of complete messages and there's a construction of complete responses to those messages that are appropriate. So if I send an order message, an appropriate response is an acknowledgement. Now, if you have some kind of proprietary software, how are you going to send orders to someone else who's using another program? You've got your standard of you know, how you send orders. They have their standard of how they send orders. You indicate order by using 35 equals D. That's the way you work. They use all numbers. So they're using 35 equals 12. So how do you communicate? You know, you're sending in one format, they expect another format, it's not gonna work. The fixed protocol standardizes how you're gonna format your messages so that people can understand. And anyone who formats their messages using the fixed protocol can theoretically communicate with anyone else who's also using fixed protocol. I don't care what software you're using and, and what your story is, if you use the fixed protocol and I'm using the fixed protocol, I feel fairly confident that we can work together. I can send you orders, you'll understand them, you can send me executions, I'll understand them, and so on and so forth. And that's how the fixed protocol works. It's standardized means of communicating orders electronically. The structure of the message is in a series of tags and values. So you have a tag equals a value. So for example, new order single, tag, value sending an order for this symbol of IBM. So you have tag value. 55 indicating that this value is a symbol. 55 means symbol. The value here is which symbol that this tag is giving you. So symbol equals IBM. Let's go through some common tag value pairs that you're gonna find in a fixed protocol. Now these are some of the most common ones, most important ones that you're gonna see. So for example, you have 35, that's message type. 35 can equal D, which is a new order single, or it can equal eight, which is an execution report, or it can equal three, which is a session reject. Or you can have 39 for status, you can have a zero for new order acknowledgement, or you can have an eight for an order reject, or you can have a one for a partial execution, two for a complete execution. Some other common tags are 54, which is side, and then you can have one for buy, two for sell, and so forth. Another popular tag is 44. 44 is for price. So we have IBM. What is your limit on the IBM order that you're placing? 40 is order type. You can have 40 equals two for limit, or 40 equals one for market. Some other popular tags that are very important are the routing tags. The tags that get the order from where it's being sent from to its destination. So for example, 50, sender sub ID. This will usually indicate the trader that's sending the order or the desk that the order is being sent from. So if it's being sent from Morgan Stanley but a specific desk at Morgan Stanley, you can indicate that in tag 50. Then you have tag 49, which is the sender comp ID. This will usually indicate the sending firm, the firm that's actually sending the order. And then you have 56, which is going to be the target comp ID. That's a firm that I'm sending the order to. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.